why don't you cut the grass? It's huh? not like you have a job. He didn't. Never gonna say it again, that's for sure. I read that it's important to give kids constant praise and reassurance. Otherwise, they turn into serial killers. Damn it, Davis, would you stop dicking around and kick the ball? I'm not paying $200 for you to sit on the sideline and pick dandelions all season. The next Ted Bundy, everyone. You know, Martha Stewart says dandelions have a lot of excellent qualities. They have medicinal qualities. They're good in tea. They can cure all kinds of cancers. It just hasn't been proven. And, you know... They do make divine flower arrangements. I bet. Your boy just has a talent for flower arranging. Okay. Yeah. Um, Carol Ann, it's almost time for halftime. Where are the snacks? Oh, I'm not hungry. No, no. Where are the kids? Damn it, Carol Ann. I sent out the snack list last week. I'm sorry. I haven't checked my email in four days because I've been working doubles at Michael's. We have that 40% off sticker sale. It's just... I didn't know you work. Mm-hmm. In framing. I do posters and shadow boxes and I'm breaking into decoupage. I'm gonna decoupage your man, this is unacceptable. I spent two hours working on that snack schedule. And now I have to rework it all because of you. Maybe you should spend a little bit less time working and a little more time bombing. Okay? All right, ladies, we need snacks. Pronto. Auntie up. Let's see, I got two granola bars and a pack of mixers. I have animal crackers so and a throat lozenge. Four energy bars, Pop Tarts, Altoids, um, three apples, and some hundred calorie packs. Oh, and a bag of summertime. I really need to restock. Missy, what about you? Oh, I, I don't have my purse. <gasps> what happened? Oh, I just didn't want to bring it, you know, because it gets dirty with the field and the mud and all that stuff. But what if you have an emergency? Oh, oh. I still have my purse. Missy, a purse is part of her uniform. You wouldn't go into battle. A Superman wouldn't go into battle without his cape, now would he? I, I guess no. No, you wouldn't. Your purse, as a mom, is your pantry, your pharmacy, your toolkit. I got my mace, my Swiss Army knife, my taser gun, and my rape whistle. <laughs> Jesus, do I look like a referee to you? Move it along. You feel so bad? Do you think it's easy being a mother of color in this white ass suburban area? You bitches are crazy. Janet, language. And, and how do you feed everything? Well, sweetie, as a four-time mom, let me tell you, when it comes to purses, size matters. Carol Ann. Okay, and the first rule of momdom is that you always leave a 25% buffer in your purse for miscellaneous. Second rule, always refer to Kate Gaston as the devil. Wow, you guys are in like a whole other level. I feel like such a rookie. Give it time, kid. You'll be fine. Speaking of time, we've got T minus two minutes till halftime. All right, ladies, this is it. Check your vans, look for concessions, any food you can find anywhere. Ready? Break. I found this box of Gatorade in my trunk. Free work, Costco membership? You're gonna fit in just fine. This is all I had in my glove compartment. What happened to you? Well, Martha Stewart tends to always be resourceful. So I found these berries on a bush in the nearby woods. That's great, Carol Ann, except they're poison ivy berries. You were a Girl Scout. All right, ladies, I got peanut butter cracker, assorted chips, and Scooby Doo Wow, where'd you get all that? You know, around. That's her.
Pop-Tarts. Sam, eat, care, and... Fuck you, Carolyn. <laughs>